My name is Keisha. And my name is Minad. Children of the Rishis, when it comes to humility, we have to carry it out for multiple reasons. Humility is ideal for someone to have in order to form strong bonds with one person to another, as humility brings along strong and close friendships. For example, if there was a person, Ritesh, who would boast about the smallest achievements and gloat about their wealthiness, and a person Aryan who would achieve greatness and high skill sets but still stay humble about his talents, who would you rather have as a friend? Humility should also be practiced in order to forgive. Without humility, it would be impossible to forgive someone as they will be too egotistical to do so. As you may know, in the Isha Foundation, leadership is a large part of our foundation when it comes to the youths. Without a doubt, humility is a key part of being a successful and excellent leader. We live, we live rather, in an overly entitled, narcissistic world today, with many leaders falling short of possessing the powerful character trait of humility. The most impactful way to lead others is to be mindful of inclusion and in the dropping of prejudices. Those who lead with humility welcome differences. When it comes to accomplishments, humble leaders are always more grateful than prideful. Today, we'd like to tell you a story about why we should practice humility in our daily lives. Once in a lovely garden lived the most beautiful butterfly in the world. She was so pretty and had won so many beauty contests that she had become vain. So much so that one day, the cheeky cockroach got fed up with her showing off and decided to teach her a lesson. She went to see the butterfly and in front of everyone she told her that she wasn't really that beautiful and that if the butterfly won contest, it was because of the jury had been bribed. In reality, the cockroach was the most beautiful. The butterfly was furious and with laughter and disdain told the cockroach, I'll beat you in a beauty contest with whichever jury you yourself choose. That Saturday, everyone went to the beauty contest, the butterfly arriving completely confident of victory until she saw who was on the jury panel. Cockroaches, worms, beetles, and nits. All of the judges preferred the creepy crawliness and bad smell of the cockroach, which easily won the contest. The butterfly was left humiliated and sobbing wanting never to enter another beauty contest in her life. Fortunately, the cockroach forgave the butterfly for her vanity and they became friends. Some time later, the butterfly even won the humility contest. From this story, we learn that we should not be egotistical of our actions or deeds so that we can achieve our true potential and not face the burden of embarrassment. Today, I leave you with this quote. True humility is not thinking less of yourself, it is thinking of yourself less. Let me repeat that one more time. True humility is not thinking less of yourself, it is thinking of yourself less. Thank you, Sitaram.